YouTube, what's up? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Uh, this video is going to show you a quick and easy way to make a harvester robot. Um, if you don't know what a harvester robot is, it's kind of the simplest robot you can make out of the EV3 uh, Mindstorms kit. Something real simple and fast if you just want to get some things done. Uh, color sensor. It does. Uh, the harvester does use an ultrasonic sensor. I'm not using that right now. So today's build is just a quick, short, simple harvester robot with just the color sensor. So let's go to the parts you're going to need. All right, everybody, these are the parts you're going to need for your harvester robot. Um, you know, depending on your needs, especially if you're going to use that ultrasonic sensor, you may need more parts to it. But I'm just using the color sensor, so that's all I'm building for. So here we go. Um, obviously, you need a brick, two of your large motors. For cables, I have two of the 10 inch, one of the 14 inch cables, two of these L pieces, they can be white or gray, doesn't matter. Three of these, what I call the H pieces, your two wheels. Um, these beams are actually your seven beam. Uh, right there, your seven beam. Um, three of your gray squares, two of these bushings to go on the ends of the tires. A uh, blue piece here, your ball and caster. Uh, this is actually an 11 hole beam. Okay, 11 hole beam. And I have 15 black connectors. Okay, so those are all the parts out of the 541 pieces in your core kit that you would need to make this harvester robot. So let's go get this thing started. Okay, I'm just going to go quickly step by step. I took the two motors and then I put the two seven uh, size beams inside the motors. Okay, next I put the tire on the seven size beam, put the gray bushing at the end, just to keep the tire on, on both sides. Okay, next I'm gonna take one of my gray squares and put in four black connectors on each side. And then what I'll do is I took the gray square and basically connected it into both motors on either side. Okay, next I'm going to take four black connectors and place them into the top of each large motor like that. And then I will go ahead and attach the 11 hole beam into those connectors. And then I'm going to take one of my gray H pieces here and place it like so, there in the front. Okay, now I'm looking at the back of the robot. I am now gonna put in four more black connectors into the bottom of the large motor, like that. And then I will take those two uh, whites, they could again be gray. I'll go ahead and put those pieces on the black connectors, like so. Okay, now you're gonna grab the uh, curved white piece here and place in the connectors like you see here. Uh, I think I misled you in the beginning. I said you would only need one. You actually need two of the blue uh, pieces, the connector pieces with the cross, cross ends. So let me go ahead and show you again how this looks. So one blue, two black, sorry about that. And then one black and one blue down here for your color sensor. Again, if you're using your ultrasonic, you would put in another piece in here, but I'm not. And now you're going to go ahead and slide on the color sensor, just like that. Okay, next, grab your brick, and we're going to place two black connector pieces like so. And then we will attach another one of your gray squares to those black connectors like so. Okay, I flipped the brick around, and in the front, you're going to put one of these H gray pieces right there. And then you'll put that last gray square uh, onto that H piece like so. Okay, so you're going to take your ball and caster and place your last H gray piece into the side like that. And you're going to take a black connector piece. I hope you have a, a black connector piece. I don't know if I miscounted, but you'll place it into the top of the caster like so. And then you'll place it into 
that uh, gray square like so. Okay, so now it's time to connect uh, the brick here now to the motors. So this H piece right here will connect down here to this gray square. This H uh, piece right here above the ball and caster will connect into the two L pieces. So after you connect it, it should look like the, this. Okay, let me turn this around. That H piece got connected to the very bottom of those L pieces right there. I am ready now to attach this uh, white arm piece. I'm going to connect these three connector pieces to the three holes right here. So it'll look like so. And that color sensor is at the perfect uh, height. And now I'm ready for my cables. So again, these two 10 inch cables uh, will go into B and C. And then this cable here will go into the color sensor, this uh, 14 inch cable. All right, everybody, here's your finished product. Again, this cable from the color sensor is going back here to port three. And then the two motors will go into B and C. All right, so everybody, there is um, Mr. Hino's version of the Harvester robot. If you wanted to put your ultrasonic sensor, you could put it on right here on this arm. But again, I'm not using it at the moment. So this is just the Mr. Hino's color sensor version of the Harvester robot. All right, you guys, I hope uh, everything was clear and easy to follow. I apologize if I was off on my count on those connector pieces. But I'm sure you guys are smart enough to follow along. And there you go, the Harvester uh, Lego EV3 robot. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. I am Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Uh, thanks for watching.